Hi, my name is Aman and in this video, I will explain the tax traps to avoid while dealing with pre-construction homes through Mark's story. Mark lived in Vancouver and was attracted to pre-construction investing as he did not need financing on the property until the project was complete and there was a good chance that he could make a decent profit by the time the project was complete. After consulting with his realtor, he bought a pre-construction condo, signed a purchase agreement contract for $800,000 in 2019 and paid $160,000 as the deposit to the builder. His builder allowed him to sell the purchase agreement to someone else before taking possession. This type of transaction is called assignment of purchase. Mark found a buyer and decided to sell the property on assignment for a million dollars in 2021. The expected closing date is 2022 in this case. Although Mark was happy to sell the property at a profit, he did not know how much cash he will get after he pays the taxes to the Canada Revenue Agency. Moreover, he was completely confused about whether the assignment sales will be subject to GST or not. Mark spent many days researching business income, capital gains and the GST implications, but he could not find a good answer to his questions. The complex taxation rules imposed by the Canada Revenue Agency instilled confusion and doubt in him to the point that he could not move forward with the sale. Well, Mark went to the gym to exercise and reduce stress and by coincidence, his gym buddy Brent was also there in the gym. Brent suggested Mark consult with his accountant who was accepting new clients to resolve his issues. Mark took Brent's advice and went to see the accountant who had the chartered professional accountant designation coupled with many years of experience dealing with real estate taxes. The accountant took a deep dive into Mark's case and devised an action plan to help Mark with the tax situation. The accountant studied the assignment sale agreement and found out that since the selling price includes GST, Mark was required to pay GST on both the deposit and the assignment fees. The assignment fees in Mark's case was the difference between the sale price of a million dollars and the purchase price of $800,000, that is $200,000. The deposit made by Mark was $160,000. So the total GST on the assignment and deposit was $360,000 divided by 1.05 into 0 0.05, which gives $17,143. The accountant interviewed Mark and studied the intention of buying the condo and found out that the main reason to buy was to sell at a profit within a short period of time. Moreover, Mark already owned a house that was classified as a principal residence and did not intend to buy the condo for actually living in it. Based on these facts, the accountant concluded that the profit would be treated as business income that is 100% taxable, unlike the capital gain income, which is only 50% taxable. The accountant also calculated the estimated tax per mark. The income tax was levied on the net assignment fees of $183,000, that is a million dollars of the sale price minus $800,000 of cost price minus the GST. Mark was already in the highest tax bracket, so his tax rate was approximately 50%. So Mark had to pay $91,000 in tax and his net tax cash flow was only $91,000. Mark was surprised about the tax bill and wished if there was a way to get out of this situation. And he asked the accountant, does he really need to disclose the sale and how can a revenue agency would find out about the assignment sales? The accountant informed Mark that he must disclose the sale on his tax return. He also warned Mark that Canada Revenue Agency has a vast amount of powers to collect information on such sales. For example, the CRA could issue unnamed person requirements to the builder who keeps track of all assignments. 
allowing the taxman to determine whether a specific taxpayers properly reported the gain on the condo flip or remitted any GST, HST that was due. The accountant told Mark that between April 2015 and March 2021, the CRA issued 59 unnamed person requirements to various developers in what is called high risk areas of British Columbia and Ontario and successfully identified unreported income associated with assignment sales. This led to tax recovery and also levying of penalties. Mark took the advice and decided to file the tax return. The accountant advised Mark that he can reduce his tax bill by utilizing some deduction that he can claim, such as the real estate commission, lawyer's closing cost, line of credit interest incurred, and other expenses incurred uh, to earn the assignment income. The accountant gave Mark a clear after-tax cash flows based on which he decided to sell the condo. Mark realized that if he did not hire a chartered professional accountant to get professional tax advice, he could have made costly tax mistakes and incurred heavy tax penalties. Mark was transformed from a doubtful investor to a tax savvy real estate investor who makes tax efficient real estate deals. If you have or are planning to participate in an assignment of purchase transaction, be prepared to pay taxes on the deal and to be audited. It is best that you consult a chartered professional accountant to help position your case with the CRA. If you want to be notified about our new tax stories, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Until then, bye.